If you are out there trying to invest in the Cleveland market, folks, and you're doing it from out of state, I am so happy you came here today because you're about to see a little treat. My guy Mike, he's just like you. I'm assuming, assuming you're investing in Cleveland because it's expensive where you live. You see, Mike is from Phoenix, Arizona, and the weather ain't the only thing hot, y'all. It's freaking smoking hot real estate market in Phoenix, man. Prices are through the roof. So Mike can't cash flow in Phoenix, but Cleveland, one of the best cash flow markets in the USA. Uh, he's looking into Cleveland. Very low pricing, and he was sent a particular property by a wholesaler. But before he drops a ton of money, even though comparatively it's cheaper than Phoenix, he wants my take on it. That's what I'm going to give him. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help people like you, everyday folks, invest in real estate. Now, this particular property, right? My guy Mike, you looked at this, is sent to you by a wholesaler. What I have pulled up for you, brother, is actually uh, a previous MLS listing. Okay, this one is currently off market, right? And off market has really just kind of become a fucking catchphrase of fucking blah. That's all that is. Okay, look, here's the deal, dog. You were presented this property by a wholesaler, a person who is by definition in the game of marketing properties, right? So the motherfucker ain't off market, okay? If there's a middleman presenting it to you, folks, it's on the fucking market, right? Just They're just choosing to advertise it in a different way. They're no longer advertising on the MLS. But here's the thing, Mike. Uh, the property was on the MLS at 59900 It was on there for 40 days. Nobody wanted to buy it. Why? Because it's probably a little too much money for that. Now, uh, you just got some wholesaler who just jacked $5,000 onto it. And it's just trying to kick it to people through, like, email chains or Craigslist or this or that. Wholesalers ain't nothing other than unlicensed illegal real estate brokers. That's all wholesalers are, right? So uh, this method on the MLS here, uh, you had 5,000 real estate agents that had access to this particular deal, okay? Uh, now it's just some jerk off on Craigslist, right? Uh, if it wasn't selling for 5K cheaper back then, it sure as shit should not sell for 5K more today. The property itself... Uh, does not look horrible. The rent roll was fine. It's like a standard Cleveland duplex, although it is not lead certified. So you're going to have to put a little bit of money into it, and that's not going to work in this particular neighborhood uh, because you're already at the top of the ARVs, right? You do have new furnaces and whatnot, but that's cool. But, like, it's not really the house that's an issue for you. It's going to be the neighborhood, uh, and the actual value, right? Like, this is what I would grade as an F-class neighborhood, okay? If you go to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you will see that I've graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale based upon risk, crime, ARV, things of that nature, right? So, like, I had to do that to set you guys up with, like, an understanding of what you're actually buying, right? Like, this property, they're offering it to you at 65 k if this is in a C grade neighborhood in Cleveland, it's going to be worth 120k, similar rent roll. So like I had to create that grading scale for people to be like, "Why? Why am I going to pay 120k when I can get it for 65k?" Yeah, right, but then you don't understand what you're actually buying into, right? Like here's the house, but look at this. Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant, 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 vacant. Vacant, 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 vacant lot. Vacant, vacant. There's another one. There's another one. Here's 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 another one. 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 Right? So, like, a lot. And what those vacant lots are, it's not like they haven't been built. Right? It's not like it's a new development. They're still building houses. No, no, no. Uh, this is an area where the houses are 100 years old. The ARVs of this particular neighborhood are so low 
That, uh, you get a house that gets to the point where uh, it would cost more to fix it up, get it lead certified, get it fixed, get it rent ready to rock, than it would actually be worth because the ARVs are so low, right? So the level of blight in this neighborhood is insane. What's this house actually really worth? Probably not 65. I'd say maybe like 50, I guess, would be fair. Uh, but to be honest, neighborhoods like this, it could sometimes be a crapshoot, right? Uh, sometimes sales happen very infrequently, and the only sales that do occur are like basically just like an out-of-state person getting suckered in by some, you know, prick wholesaler. <laughs> kind of like what's happening right now, you know what I'm saying? Don't be that guy, right? You don't want to be the out-of-state guy who gets suckered in by some prick wholesaler. That's why you all come to this show, because I cut it to you straight. Woo! Now, it's ghetto as fuck, right? Neighborhood, ghetto as fuck, dude dangerous right honestly probably do better running around the middle of ukraine right now without a bulletproof vest than running around this neighborhood without a bulletproof vest but you know it is what it is that does not mean there are not people that can make money in these types of neighborhoods people do make money in these types of neighborhoods every day so uh you know i guess i'm saying like yo this neighborhood's ghetto as fuck you could take that as like damn he just fucking turd sandwiched on that neighborhood but that's not necessarily the case like i'm saying people can make money right uh i just don't think those people would be you because you see you're an out-of-state investor brand new to this market brand new to the business you have to hire a ton of middlemen to do everything for you right my company we have the ability to do it all property management maintenance construction insurance landscaping the whole nine uh we're probably the largest in in, in the market but there are other companies right there's other property management companies Holton Wise is not the only one there are there are others but here's the deal there's a few big big boys in town right Holton Wise a couple others uh all the big boys don't take on management or construction or home renovation in neighborhoods like this bro it's just, it's too hard to staff the company uh construction workers don't want to go there plumbers don't want to go there things of that nature right shit gets stolen like dude motherfuckers steal the fucking like lawn equipment out of the lawn trailer right you, you, you get the guy the fucking yards are like a tenth of an acre right we got these big huge commercial mowers so like we could usually do a backyard like one two three four and we're done right so i mean we can knock a backyard out pretty quick right like five minutes ten minutes right that you're away from the truck people will <laughs> they'll steal the shit dude they'll just steal it so it's hard right uh to get on the ground boots on the ground people to do that right so when investors that are out of state try to buy properties in neighborhoods that split over the big dogs the big companies don't take on the work because you know at the end of the day new investors they'll still like revert to die ah, property managers bad you know so it's like few amount of money heavy amount of headaches everybody's upset so you get a lot of the big dogs won't take on uh properties that are this difficult to manage there's just not enough money to spread around right uh, so that would be where you'd fall into. You'd fall into that, right? If you were like a local cat, I would say, hey, man, you got a good shot. You got to manage this thing like a motherfucking hawk. Let's put some Section 8 tenants in there to make sure you get uh, a consistent uh, payment of rent. But for you, Mike, I don't really see any scenario where you could buy this and not lose money. So if I were you, I would not buy this deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.